Kore ke mahufanga ngai fa tap ko osi. Ngai mi muani fa ata ma teki ma tol. Fa nao ke fa ha fa ta ta. Ke ale soni o to to o ta o eki ko si su karais. O ka mai me to ya sione va hi wa noa me su la ke to noa. The apostle Paul said, and if Christ has not been raised your faith is little you are still in you the apostle john tells the story of the resurrection from the perspective of someone who was actually at the empty tomb and as someone who actually saw the risen christ his words echo down to us through the passing years We hear him saying to us along with Mary Magdalene, "I have seen the Lord." And now there is no doubt, we have hope and we have a future. Imagine yourself in the worst of all possible situations. Imagine yourself as one of the disciples or as one of the women who followed Jesus. Imagine that he is no longer among you because he is dead. You saw him die, you saw them bury him in a tomb. There is no doubt. There is no hope. There is no future. You hold up together behind a locked door, fearing that those who tortured and killed him will come and find you next. What will happen to you? to your family to your friends there is no doubt there is no hope there is no future you heard him say when he was alive that the son of man must be delivered over to the hands of sinners be crucified and on the third day be raised again but you have forgotten those words or at least they hold no hope for you now the horror of the crucifixion is still fresh in your mind you see and hear him in agony there dying right in front of you when there was nothing you can do you think about your part in all of it and wonder what you could have done differently you have been frightened and hiding for days but now it is sunday early on the first day of the week while it was still dark mary magdalene went to the tomb and saw that the stone had been removed from the entrance So she came running to Simon Peter and to the other disciples that Jesus loved and said, "They have taken the Lord, and I don't know where they have put him." So Peter and the other disciples started for the tomb. Both were running, but the other disciple outran Peter and reached the tomb first. He bent over and looked in at the strips of linen lying there, but did not go in. Then Simon Peter came along behind him and went straight into the tomb. He saw the strips of linen lying there, as well as the cloth that had been wrapped around Jesus' head. The cloth was still lying in its place, separate from the linen. And then finally the other disciple who had reached the tomb first also went inside he saw and believed then the disciples went back to where they were staying now mary stood outside the tomb crying as she wept she bent over to look into the tomb and saw two angels in white seated where jesus body had been one at the head and one at the foot They asked her. They have taken my Lord, and I don't know where they have put him. At this, she turned around and saw Jesus standing there, but she did not realize that it was Jesus. He asked her, "Woman, why are you crying? Who is it you are looking for?" Thinking he was the gardener, she said, "Sir, if you have taken my Lord." Tell me where you have put him and I will take him. Mary. <clears throat> Rabboni. In Aramaic the rabo- the word Rabboni means teacher. 
Do not hold on to me, for I have not yet ascended to my Father. Go instead to my brothers and tell them, I am sending to my Father, your Father, and my God, your God. Mary Magdalene went to the disciples with the news. I have seen the Lord. And she told them that he had said these things to her. On the evening of that first day of the week, when the disciples were together with the doors locked for the fear of the Jewish leaders, Jesus came and stood among them and said, Peace be with you. After he said this, he showed them his hands and sighed. The disciples were overjoyed when they saw the Lord. Again, Jesus said, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, I am sending you. And with that, he breathed on them and said, Receive the Holy Spirit. If you forgive any more sins, your sins are forgiven. If you do not forgive, your sins are not forgiven. Now Thomas, one of the twelve, was with the disciples when Jesus came. So the other disciples told him, We have seen the Lord. So let's have you the nail mark in his head. I put my fingers for the nail mark. I put my hands to his side. I will not believe. A week later, his disciples, disciples were in the house again. And Thomas was with them. Though the doors were locked, Jesus came and stood among them and said, Peace be with you. Put your hand onto my hand. Reach out and put your hand onto my side. Stop doubting and believe. My Lord and my God. Since you have seen, you have believed. Blessed are those who have not seen and yet believe. Jesus performed many other signs in the presence of his disciples, which are not recorded in this book. But these are written that you may believe that Jesus is the Messiah, the Son of God, and that by believing you may have life in his name. Imagine yourself in the best of all possible situations. The Lord, the Savior, Jesus Christ, who was dead, by the power of the living God, Jesus Christ has risen from the dead and is alive forever. The terror of yesterday was gone, and the fear of tomorrow has vanished. Because of what Jesus did on the cross, mankind can be forgiven of sin. And because he has been raised from the dead, mankind can live forever. There is no doubt. We have a hope. We have a future. God bless.